We are back. It has been months since I had a conversation with my Jehovah's Witness friend, and that has weighed heavy on my heart because I have an ongoing urgency to share Jesus with her, to see her come out of the organization, to repent, and to know Jesus as her true Savior. As some of you know, my health has been a significant challenge for me over the past year, and I had another setback earlier this year, which prevented me from finding a day in which I was well enough to jump into these challenging sparring matches with her. By God's providence, I have been slowly starting to feel better and was looking for a day to call her again. Now, she did call back in April to invite me to the memorial service. She had called when I was on the phone with someone else, though, so I had switched over to talk with her briefly before needing to call the other person back. So we didn't get into it much that day. And it's just as well because I wasn't feeling well anyway. Then recently, she called to tell me about the convention, and it turned out the timing was great for that call. In this video, she starts off with her spiel and gives me all the sales pitch about what it is, how to view it, etc. I had actually been planning to check it out anyway, as I've already heard some interesting and maybe rather disturbing things that they said this year, so I was genuinely curious to hear her instructions. From there, she wanted to get into more of our usual conversations again, and I actually had the time and energy, so we got into a number of subjects, many of which we have discussed at length before. I have to admit, I felt pretty out of practice for this, since it had been a while. So I don't think I started off all that well in the beginning, but by the end, I was able to share some things with her that I have been burdened to share for a long time now. So overall, I'm thankful for how it all played out. I'm giving you a call because, uh, uh, well, to find out how you are, of course, but also, uh, you know, we're having uh, in summer now and we're having the uh, three-day conventions. Oh, yes. And, of course, now, because of COVID, they're not, uh, you know, we can't meet in, uh, in, in a, you know, in a real environment. So we're uh, on our, uh, we're having, we're streamed on, on um, our website. Oh, okay, yeah. So uh, it's, uh, the three-day convention is going to be uh, broadcast in segments over July and August. Okay. So uh, you can log on to the JW website, and then on the home page, uh, there's uh, just uh, click on about us, mm -hmm. and then the convention uh, will come up, and it'll, you know, talk about what the program is. So, and then you just follow the steps to get to the day that you want, you know. Oh, okay. And is it listed by like subject matter and that kind of thing too, or? Uh, yes, you can get a complete schedule okay. on on the home page. So, uh, you know, if there's a preference of a certain day that you wanted to watch a particular mm -hmm. subject or whatever, you know, then, of course, um, you know, um, you'll, you'll know ahead of time, you know. Yeah. And then on, on uh, Sunday, um, there's the uh, talk, and it's entitled Friendship with God, How Possible. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, the um, the event is is it's just for an hour about and uh, it's a public talk of course mm -hmm. and uh, it'll answer the question of is um, friendship with God automatic or is something required mm. so mm -hmm. uh, it'll be an interesting talk yeah it sounds interesting yeah, yeah. and uh, during the, the whole program there's a lot of uh, of little short clip videos to break, break it up, uh, you know, to break up the talks and uh, make a little more, you know, interesting waking, waking people up, you know. Mm. And uh, then on, particularly on Saturday, there's a, uh, a two-part uh, movie, like a, you know, like a movie about um, a Bible character, and it's in two parts. So uh, one one part in the morning and one part in the afternoon, I believe it is. Okay. But uh, it'll show up on the schedule. Okay. So uh, it, there's a lot of interesting things there, you know. Mm -hmm. And it uh, the main theme of this convention is pursue peace. Mm. And the idea of pursue peace is is means we have to do something about getting peace. Pursue mm -hmm. means 
chasing something, right? Mm -hmm. Trying to catch it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it means it takes an effort. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is, the whole convention will dwell on that subject. Okay. Uh, what do we do as individuals mm -hmm. to get peace, peace within ourselves, peace within the family, peace within the neighbors, peace within the world, and particularly peace with God? Mm. You can tell my JW friend was really well trained and ready to promote this convention, which I have come to expect from her. As I noted previously, this whole convention is yet another promotion of work, work, work. Not about how God has accomplished anything or how he can actually give us peace by the work of Christ. It seems like such a nice encouraging subject to focus on, but from what I've seen so far from this convention, it comes across more like a giant guilt trip with tremendous pressure to try and accomplish something that we as fallen human beings are not even able to do. She will go on to mention that I have watched them in the past and I agreed, but in fact, I haven't really watched a convention before, just maybe a little bit here and there, but never the whole thing all the way through. I found it interesting how, while she was doing her sales pitch, she would barely let me get a word in. Like she really just wanted to get all the words out and that's what mattered most. She even went on to do a sales pitch for the website itself, which I hadn't heard from her in quite some time. So it, uh, it's going to be an interesting, uh, in, in, interesting convention. So yeah. I thought I'd just uh, put, give you a heads up because I know you have watched them in the past. I have, yeah. So yeah, you can click on any time, as I say, you can watch them at your own convenience. Oh, okay. So there's no particular time, like, uh, you know, there'll be a segment, like, say, for, there's, it's split up so that there's Friday morning segment, mm -hmm. and then there's a Friday afternoon segment. Mm -hmm. Same thing on Saturday, same thing on Sunday. So um, the Friday ones, of course, will come up first, mm -hmm. and they're up, actually, they're up right now. Mm, okay, so it started today. Yeah. Okay. So, like, the, the, so you can watch it for two or three weeks, it'll be on the home page right away, on okay. the front, you know. Yeah. And yeah. then uh, after that, that will will uh, fade away, and then the Saturday program, morning and afternoon, will come mm -hmm. up. Okay. But you can still, um, you know, you can still, look if you miss the Friday, and it's already, po they're already posting Saturdays, all you can need to do is into the search bar type uh, 2022 convention mm. and then that'll then the, the previous one will be able to you'll be able to watch you know yeah okay well, so that's good to know it's easily accessible and so um, I'm sure uh, you know as I say there'd be something in there that you might pique your interest you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because um, uh, this and on the home page now I don't know if you've checked our home page lately but uh, there's some really interesting articles on uh, about uh, saving the planet and uh, uh, who will, you know, like who will save, there's an article, who will save the earth, will the earth be destroyed, uh, uh, will man, mankind rule the earth beyond repair, and uh, things like things like that. Mm, so that's a subject they're focusing on for the, the webpage right now? Right now, yes, and mm -hmm. also there's an interesting article on the homepage about economics and uh, economics and the war, how it's influencing, uh, effect, you know, how it's affecting everybody in the world. Like you, you, you probably noticed uh, going for groceries, how much every time you go down to the store, what you bought last week is a little more money. Mm -hmm. Yep, you know. And that's really, really noticeable, of course, to, you know, particularly people on fixed incomes mm -hmm. or, you know, large families. And yeah. It's making it difficult for them. So uh, there's there's some good helpful tips there for, mm. uh, for families, you know, on how to economize and how to um, plan ahead and things like that. Mm -hmm. so good practical, you know, practical advice. And, of course, that comes from the Bible, of course, you know. 
I noticed that their website is heavily loaded with pragmatic suggestions for how to handle all sorts of things that come up in day-to-day -day life. And many of these suggestions are fine. They're logical, useful, and, well, generally common sense. So no one needs that particular website to figure these things out. But they try to make it sound like they're getting all of it from the Bible and it's special information that you probably can't get anywhere else but their website. And what I really noticed from the convention video so far is that many of these suggestions seem to come across more like commands that JWs are required to follow if they want the approval of Jehovah's organization. Mm -hmm. Like Proverbs is just loaded with sayings that are, are very wise. Right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, uh, give, give those a peek and see what you think about them. Sure, yeah, I'll take a look. Yeah, I was uh, I was on there a while ago looking at some articles. So, yeah, I'll just pop back in and, and see what, what's new. <laughs> yeah, we're, they're always changing. And, of course, they're mm -hmm. always with the uh, current uh, uh, on the home page. There's always usually on the, you know, subjects on the current events that are happening. There's been a, quite a bit on the war in in the Ukraine and how mm. it's affecting the world mm -hmm. and what the Bible talks about mm. war, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. wars. And of course, that we talked about it before. Whereas in both in in, Ma in the three Gospels, uh, the uh, Jesus talks about the signs of the last days, mm. and uh, that. Uh, that is certainly indicative of what's happening now, you know. Mm. I'm curious about that. Just just your own personal opinion. What? How how long do you think that is left before the end? Well, just your own idea. I'm not assu assuming no, that you're like making I'm, a prophecy. Uh, I'm going along with what Jesus said. That, uh, that nobody knows the day or the hour. Right. Right. Yeah. But uh, yeah. but we, we can reason on what the apostles talked about the last days and their descriptions of what would be the signs and that's at first timothy 3 1 to 5 and of course in all the the uh, matthew 24 uh, uh, mark 13 luke 21 all those agree on things that would be happening all at once like those say like wars and uh, storms and earthquakes did occur over a long period of time. But when these things are happening on a large scale all at once, that's it. That's what Jesus was talking about. Yeah. So do you have, like, do you think it'll be like, like this year or like in 10 years or somewhere in that range? Or I'm just curious what your opinion is. I'm not looking for like... I don't, I, I can't speculate because that's mm. jumping ahead. Mm -hmm. And the Bible warns of, uh, of uh, being presumptuous and jumping ahead. Yeah. So, so it could be but, even like 100 years. But it just years. makes sense that when Jesus talked about it in the first century CE, and now we're in the 21st century, it's obviously closer, isn't it? Oh, of course, because time has moved forward. <laughs> you um, know. Yeah. So, so uh, but you you don't think? I'm just curious. This is just totally, you know, it's just my yeah. curiosity. Um, no, I I don't speculate and I don't yeah. uh, think about it. This was an interesting statement, wasn't it? How is it not something she constantly thinks about when that's what she's been conditioned to do? Now, I know that for her being older, she has to be thinking that she may die before Armageddon. In fact, I have talked with her about this before, and that's basically what she has said. But if anything, she must be hoping for Armageddon to happen right away so that she doesn't have to die. That's my guess, anyway. I'm asking her here about when she personally thinks it might happen, and I'm guessing she does have some idea conjured up in her mind. But she doesn't want to tell me, and that's fine. I just thought it might be an interesting discussion. It will lead to some pretty intense conversation later on. In the meantime, she will start repeating the phrase, enduring until the end, which in Watchtower lingo means working hard to prove yourself loyal to the organization. For Christians, that statement is both a comfort and a challenge because we want to finish well and honor Christ. 
So in that way, it is a challenge to remain faithful and keep putting our sin to death. But it is also a great comfort because we are safe and secure in Christ because of all he has accomplished for us on the cross. So we can have faith that he will keep us faithful to him. That concept is completely foreign and even detestable to her, which is really heartbreaking. She will even make a point about how being born again doesn't save you. Do you think it could be like a hundred years? What I'm concerned is about enduring to the end, Mm -hmm. because all those accounts say that he he or she who endures to the end will be saved. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. it's not anything that we do now, like being born again or anything like that is going to save us. Mm. It's enduring to the end through all this tribulation. And Matthew um, 24, I think it's 13, or no, uh, it's in there somewhere, I just can't remember where, but in Matthew 24, it talks about uh, uh, the uh, that these events, uh, or like I better call the tribulation, that there's never been one like it before. Mm-hmm. So the, these events happening all at once, Mm. are really going to be earth-shaking. Yeah. And they are right now. Because, so, yeah. like, uh, 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 if, if you watch the news, um, the mental health issues are so predominant now that every time you pretty well listen to the news, they're always talking about uh, suicides, uh, men, you know, uh, men, pre- prevention, uh, things like that. And... Uh, so that's in the forefront, you know, a uh, society that isn't conscious of God, mm-hmm. conscious of these last days, is aware that something is happening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so that's in itself is an indication that it's too close for comfort. Mm. So it wouldn't be like a hundred years, it would be much closer than that, you think? Yeah, obviously yeah. I would say mm. that I can, I would say yes without uh, being presumptuous, I think. Okay, okay. That's interesting, because they, they were saying that a hundred years ago in the organization, too. Uh, we'll pick up right here in the next video. If you have any guesses as to what she said in response, let us know in the comments.